Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to move the cursor and there's going to be a bunch of shortcuts in this video. So imagine if I was to type in, let's say, CD and uh, actually what I'm going to do, yeah, CD is fine. So I'm going to do CD and I'm going to change directory to, let's say, documents, for example. So there's a reason I'm a text there. If I want to go to the beginning of the line, you know, like there, and I want to change something made or made, made a mistake or, or I want to modify, you know, do something. Instead of doing that, that doesn't take too long for this, but you might have a command that's, you know, spreads two or three lines. You can just press Control A and that goes right to the start. So you can also, so we'll go back to the end of it. You can also press the home key as well if your keyboard has a home key. If you want to get to the end of the line, you can press Control E. Or, if I go back to the start, you can press the N key. So that's really, really useful. Another thing that you can do is use Alt B. So Alt B will basically go back one word at a time. So that's really cool, you know, to, you know, get, let's say, partway through a line. And to go forward one word at a time, you just do Alt F. To go back one character at a time, it's the same letter, but Control instead. So Control B and control f i would rather just use the arrow keys but if your hands are already in the position of using control and alt and that's what you're going to be using for the next few you know key presses it may be quicker so that's how you get to the end of the line the start of the line move you know traverse it based on your word at a time based on a character as well okay so nothing more to it than that or really all you need to know if you have any more questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video